Hi everybody, my name is Tom and I've done a lot of testing, a lot of measurements and finally I can present you some kind of gun ranking for Black Ops Zombies. What I have done is I simply measured the damage I have done and then I divided that through the bullets I have shot so I knew how much damage have I done with each bullet and when a gun does let's say 2000 damage but it hits three zombies with every bullet the value damage per bullet will just say that it does like 6k damage because I hit those three zombies and I did 2k damage to each so the average damage is like 6000 and that's a very interesting value because it tells you how much damage do you do in a real in-game situation? It's not some paper value. I mean, um, some gun might only hit one zombie with a bullet, but other guns, like snipers or so, probably hit up to six zombies. So this value includes all of that and just tells you in a real in-game situation, when running trains, how much damage does one bullet do? Then I just multiply this value with the max ammo the gun has, so I know how much damage can I pull with that gun with one full ammo set and the higher that value is the more zombies I can kill so that is the most important value and the rating is based on this value called max damage. So the worst gun in zombies is the S12. It just neither has a good damage per bullet nor it has a, a lot of ammo and therefore it will never be able to do any good in this ranking. Same story for rank 33, this goes to the Remington, it's a wall gun and I know that a lot of you guys like this gun and it's absolutely great for the early rounds, for example when you just come by with the bus to the farm and you still need a gun you can easily buy it, then you can go for headshots, you one shot the zombies, you get 100 points per kill, that's absolutely perfect. When you upgrade you can do that strategy for quite a while, you just one shot the zombies, absolutely perfect, but when it's about taking Taking out full hordes of zombies in round 30 plus, the gun completely fails. The problem is it just doesn't penetrate through zombies. It hits like only one zombie with one shot and that's really, really sad. Rank 33 is the third shotgun in a row, so they obviously fail completely. It's the M1216. Well, it has approximately the same damage like the Remington, but it has a little bit more ammo, so it is ranked higher, but overall I can't say anything good about this gun because, as said, they do not penetrate through the zombies, they are not able to take out full hordes of zombies, whereas they are good for single zombies, but for full hordes they kinda suck, so I can't really recommend any of those three shotguns. Rank 32 goes to the B23R, um, it's the first pistol that we see and we of course didn't expect pistols to, to, to do any good because they do not have a high damage, they do not have a high headshot multiplier as we know from Black Ops 1 and they also do not come with a lot of ammo. So we can just pick in rank 31 here too, it's the Cap 40, the second pistol in a row. Yeah, same properties like the B23R, it's just, um, as I said, no damage, no ammo, uh, no headshot multiplier, just nothing and therefore can't really recommend it. Rank 30 is kind of the first surprise and this is the MP5 wall gun. It's a very interesting I was surprised by myself that it get ranked that bad. But the problem is just that it didn't do um, any kind of good damage. You see that only 3.8k damage per bullet. Even the shotguns did more and that led to a very very low ranking. I just assumed you have only one ammo set so I just assumed you can't buy ammo off the wall. Of course you can with the MP5. That makes it makes it to a um, better gun. That is, it is actually ranked here. But I just assume you can can't use buy ammo, and then it would rank in rank 30 out of 35. So a very very weak gun. What I can say about it is just. Try not to use it whenever you can choose another wall gun. There are way better ones, the M16, the AK-74U, PDW, AN-94, all better. And um, yeah, if you have any kind of choice, do not use the MP5 because you spend like more time buying ammo off the wall again, rebuying ammo off the wall again, and then you actually spend time shooting the zombies. And even if you shoot the zombies, you do not do much damage. The kill speed is very, very low. and there Therefore, the MP5, actually the first surprise that it got ranked that low, um, a really bad gun we have to say. 
Rank 29 goes to the first explosive. This is the War Machine. Well, you know the War Machine has a very low movement factor. You reload very slowly. You damage yourself. So a lot of uh, things that are, um, are not speaking for this gun. And also the in-game experience tells us that it is not really a favorable choice. And therefore, not recommended. Then on rank 28 we have the Olympia, um, it's actually the final of the normal shotguns, you know, we still have the Voice of Justice, but um, this thing is a beast, so I call the Olympia the last normal shotgun. Um, the difference to the other three shotguns and the reason why it is ranked a little bit higher is it actually penetrates quite well through zombies. When you have a look to my points there in the in-game screen, you see that I get quite a lot of um, a lot of those 10 points with each shot and that is the difference to the other three shotguns, so it does a way better um, damage per bullet. You see it there, 16.4k, whereas the other shotguns did like 5 or 6k damage per bullet. Um, that makes it to a quite nice shotgun. The problem is just we have uh, we have a very small uh, clip size. It's dual barrel, so we have to reload after every two shots. That's a bit sad, but the damage actually for hordes quite well. But still, it's only rank 28 out of 35, and therefore I would not really recommend it. Well, that was it already for the first episode. I hope you stay excited for the second one. See you tomorrow. Have fun. Bye.